It was truly spectacular. The Punt Ruski, or as Biden called it, the Ruski. It was the trick play of all trick plays in all college football. It was 25 years ago, the first ever meeting between top 10 teams in the history of Death Valley. Huge game. I mean, Brent Musburger's there. It's the game of the week. Along with the pressure, the Seminoles carried something else into the game, a secret trick play they'd been working on for weeks called the punt ruski. The trickery is this. You line up in a normal punt formation. Then the center, instead of snapping it to the punter, he snaps it to the fullback, who's about four yards behind him. I remember Coach Bowden and some of the coaches saying, when Dane Williams gets the ball, he's going to put it between your legs. We want you to sit there for a couple seconds and let everybody look at the punter, and then you could just take off. We would try it against our defense, and it works. You, you know, in practice, you, your, your own defense fell for it, you know? So we felt like we had something good. Leroy Butler, a junior defensive back that season, was so excited about the play, he told his old high school coach, Corky Rogers, about it. He said, we've got some trickery involved, and I'm involved in it, he said, and he said, it could really be big in the game. He was like, yeah, trick plays always work when teams don't expect it. And we had this conversation about it. In Rogers' own excitement, he told a few former players what Butler shared. Well, one of the players had played at Clemson. And he calls Coach Ford and, and says, there's something going to happen. He just said, they got a trick play and uh, for us to be on guard because they're going to try something sneaky. Well, didn't tell us when, where, and what time. That was their main problem. By halftime, the Seminoles were down 14-7. We're going to the locker room, and the last thing when Coach is addressing the team after we made corrections is all, he said, hey, man, keep your head up. He said, we got this. We got the punt ruski. In the second half, the Seminoles tied the game, thanks to Deion Sanders. After the team's traded scores, the tie remained 21 all. With just 90 seconds left, fourth and four, FSU had the ball on its own 21-yard line. And I remember him saying, run it. And you could have heard a pin drop like nobody said, run, did he say run it, you know? No one, no one fakes a punt for their own 21-yard line, okay? You just don't do it. I don't think I ask anybody. <laughs> I think I tell them this is what we're going to do. Let punt Ruski. And here's the short handoff and the little handoff to the up back. Leroy Butler's got a long way to go to the 40. The punter jumps up in the air like, he, like the ball went over his head. And sure enough, the safety back, I thought the ball was over his head. That opened it up. They go to the 40. Leroy Butler to the 50. Leroy Butler to the 40 to the 30. Leroy Butler to the 20. Butler. Bless his heart, he ran right beside me, and, and I, I should have tripped him. A reporter asked me, he said, did you have butterflies when you were running? I said, no, I didn't have butterflies. I had pterodactyls. Leroy Butler knocked out of bounds at the four-yard line. What a play by the seven awesome razzle-dazzle. The punt ruski set up the game-winning field goal. Afterward, Bowden tried to explain the play. Now the ball is snapped to him. He takes it up here, and this guy here is sitting like this. <laughs> you know, very original. <laughs> Every time I go somewhere, people come up, FSU, punt Ruski. I made a lot of trick plays. Number one. Number one, oh, I'd be number one. In fact, I don't know if I'd do it again today. <laughs>